Good day. Welcome to our short video explaining how to disable Teams Personal from your computer. There are a whole lot of ways to do it, but none of them are really obvious. Well, with one exception. So let me show you the, the problem here. Uh, I've got a nice, new a nice new machine here, and I've got Microsoft Teams Personal, and I've got Microsoft Teams Corporate, like a little better known as Teams Work. And Teams uh, Corporate is signed in and happy free version that ships with Windows 10 and Windows 11, it, it's just sitting there. And uh, while it's not a crisis, it just annoys me to have it there at all. So uh, what we want to do is get rid of it. So we're going to start with the easiest process, and then we'll keep working our way down uh, to the more complex processes that are more permanent. So the first thing you can do, of course, is just right-click and quit. But that's not really going to solve your problem. It's just going to come back. To simply turn it off using Task Manager. So if you're using Windows 11 like I am, just press Control shift escape and go to Startup Apps. And you can see here that I've got two Microsoft Teams. I've got Teams with the big blue icon. And I've also got this Teams with the little tiny white icon. You can right click on that and select disable. Now I'm going to turn it back on because we need to show you how to turn it back off using the other methods like the registry. Next thing you can do is to right click on your start button and go to apps and features and then find teams. Teams work is from Microsoft Corporation, whereas Microsoft Teams is just from Microsoft. Confused with all those Microsofts? Just look for the icon, the white one is the one you're looking to get rid of. So a couple of things you could do. The first thing you could do is click the three dots and select advanced options. And here is the startup option. So we can get rid of it here. That's one way to go. Another way to go is just to, again, find Teams and uninstall it. You don't need the personal one if you're running the corporate one. So at least most people. So you could just uninstall it. OK, that's another way. And then uh, the next way is to go into the registry, this very unorthodox location. Thank you, Microsoft, for burying this. It's in current user software, classes, local settings, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, app model, system app, data, Microsoft Teams, and then team startup task. And what we're looking for is state. So watch this. Let me go back here and I'm going to go to Teams. So I'm just to advanced options, and you can see it's on here. Now watch what happens. I'll double click on this, and I'll change this value to one. And go out of it, back into it. And you can see it is now set to off. There we go. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. It'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe, which if you're in the mobile app is the little bell. That's appreciated. Uh, and if you have any questions or concerns, put them in the comment section below. We'll get back to you or somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. It's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.